What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Flicking of My Big Tarot, here where I bring you the beauty, juice, and spiritual truths. I am your spirit guide host, Miss DC. And today, y'all, we are back with another general bonus reading for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, this is the end, going into the end of December. We is going into the new year, y'all. So I figured I'd do a little bonus reading for everybody. And I'm on Aquarius now. Now, please understand this is a general reading, so it will not apply to every single cap. Um, I just got finished doing Capricorn. Excuse me. Maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn Aquarius. Okay. Now, like I said, this is not going to apply to every single Aquarius because every single Aquarius is not going through the same situation. Okay. Cross watchers, anybody outside the Aquarius energy, you're more than welcome to join in, tune in, but please utilize this information for the most positive purpose. Spirit told me to talk to you, so I will be talking to you guys with three different tarot decks. One of them I'm really excited about, <laughs> my Kawaki tarot deck. Okay. All of my information will be in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, they're going for $27 right now okay if you don't you better get you one hmm. now without further ado let's get into your reading aquarius now let me tell y'all how excited i am aquarius because i got my locks done and they in there in there like they for real for real in there i've been wanting these for a long time so i was like mm, just got them done yesterday why not go ahead and do a bonus reading i'm back in dc okay at my dad house for, 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 for Christmas and might even be moving back here, okay, over the summer, yes, getting marched together, okay, let's see what we got in store for y'all, let's see, all right, ooh, we got our two, all right, separation, this could be the one, okay, so off the break, what I'm getting is you might have to leave one for the other what do i say you can't have one without the other okay so i mean well in this case you can't have one and the other so separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon meaning leave whoever you with because you know they're not good for you you still thinking about them even though you probably at that point are just like really letting them go and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. And whoever else it is that you feel strongly about might be, whoever you probably not with is probably the one that, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like if you have to be in a separation, and again, this is not for everybody. These are my interpretations. If you, um, or you might even be single, but still kind of holding on to somebody, whether it be your thought process or you still physically involved with them, but some type of separation from whoever it is that you currently dealing with, or maybe a separation from somebody you just got finished dealing with or you need to get finished with. Okay, let's see what the cards say. Let's see what spirit is telling me to tell y'all because y'all know it only be spirit that be telling me this. All right. Period. So I feel like right now you don't have no drive for something. Maybe you're not really in tune with work or meditation. I feel like it's just like a slow, a slow movement where like something has come to a halt and there's conflict. So you might either be going into conflict. You know what I'm thinking? Once you separate from this person, it's going to bring conflict. And like I be trying to tell people, people be trying to act like, oh, when I separate from somebody, it's supposed to be smooth sailing. Or when I separate from this person, I don't really just be expecting to be engaging and arguing and all of that, which a lot of time people be acting like, oh, when you separate, it's supposed to just be smooth sailing. No, nine times out of 10, if you separate from somebody, if it's not, if y'all both didn't agree on it, somebody finna be mad somebody about to be jealous and even if y'all did agree on it somebody might even still be mad you know what i'm saying so right now you may have conflict after this separation but who cares because you're gonna have it anyway if you with this person and you have a conflict when you get out of it with the person you're probably gonna have conflict too see and i feel like you're withdrawn it's like out of sight out of mind i'm not really thinking about it maybe you need to be paying you see how in this for a cups car house she got this um rainbow that she's not really paying attention to and you see i didn't notice this at first i've had these cards for a little while now this is kind of like one of the first decks that i bought and look at that you see that hand i never noticed that hand underneath here i just saw the cups and you see how she's like 
she's not re she's reaching down but she's not the intent isn't to reach for this her hand is just down but there's a cup underneath one that she can't really see but she's withdrawing so i feel like maybe you're not looking at the bigger picture and you're not looking at who could be the one and you probably are looking at who could be the one but you still for whatever reason not really paying attention to um to that person you might be trying to you might be focusing more on the other person just so that you can get them out of your system because once you get them out of your system then you don't have to deal with them no more you know what i'm saying if you think the way i do and so you got this page of swords energy so i feel like you not i feel like you you it's like you you at a stop like it's like i don't want to deal with this person no more i don't want to look at their information i ain't trying to go on a page i'm not trying to call i'm not trying to do none of that i feel like all of that has come to like a complete stop you might be receiving some bad news i feel like you might get an abundance of bad news i feel like something may be exposed that you didn't know or but like i said whatever it is i just see conflict coming withdrawn conflict isolation you may like isolation separation okay don't be feeling like you done lacked or lost this relationship no you good okay you is good separate isolate isolate yourself to the fullest okay and move forward and let that other this could be the one be the one make your life difficult for myself i'm gonna get it There we go. There we go. Move towards with this three of wands. Move towards who is the one. Because that's what's going to bring you stability. And even if it don't bring you stability, it'll get you out of this situation with the last one. Okay? That's it. That's it. And then, why do I feel like I got dry smoker's lips? I was eating some fruit roll-ups one was red and one was blue and the blue one like really tinted my lips so i feel like my lips look darker a little bit darker and a little bit more dry but that's only the fruit roll-up that did that so okay what is this chariot in reverse what is this chariot in reverse You don't have no will to go towards this lover or whoever this past person is or the current person. Whoever it is that you need to get away from, trying to get away from, know you need to get, get away from, feel like you need to get away from, maybe you move it too slow, getting away from them. Whoever that person is that you need to isolate yourself from is who, exactly who I'm talking about, who you don't have no willpower or no drive to deal with. What is the conflict? Spirit, what is the conflict that Aquarius may be dealing with? Some of us, because I know this is my reading for real, like for real. What is this conflict? The world. So the conflict is trying to end a phase. Okay, that's the conflict, trying to end the phase. I feel like you're possibly um, at the tail end. I want to say you at the tail end of a situation, possibly at the tail end. I don't know why this one is just kind of like irritating me, but you're at the tail. I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like you at the tail end of a situation. Okay, look, look, y'all calm down calm down i feel like you at the tail end of a situation and with this world card you want success at ending it it's like a it's like a phase you know when you look at this it's a circle it's a phase it's a cycle and i feel like that's the conflict like you're trying to end a cycle you're trying to end dealing with someone and it's probably being difficult because with that five of wands that's conflict with other people 
when that card is in reverse, that's inner conflict. So that's fighting yourself, arguing with yourself, mad at yourself, talking to yourself. But when that five of wands is in an upright, I feel like that's conflict with other people, other energies that's trying to come into your energy force. What is this four of cups? Withdrawn from that ten of cups. See, emotionless in a sense. You see, she dry, emotionless. And it's you, you not paying attention to the person that you're supposed to. And I'm in this boat. Not really, I am, but I'm not. The thing is, I want the other person, but the other person ain't really been talking to me like that. So instead of me just being all in their face, the other person I haven't talked to, dealt with, but I kind of feel like when it ended, it ended on a fuck you, and they were like, fuck you too but was still lurking and, and all of that shit. And in a sense, I kind of was too until I cut the person all the way the fuck off. And now that I cut the person all the way the fuck off, I've changed my life for the better. The new person done came in. And then I started feeling a little weird because the new person was kind of like, I don't want to say acting funny, but the new person wasn't really being as expressive and wasn't really talking. So I was like, am I even supposed to be with this person or not? Or like, what is what is going on? So trying to physically in and I keep hearing I keep feeling like that that past person they feel like ain't no unfinished business like they feel like it's it's some unfinished business I feel like the business been over like I don't have time to keep going back and forth so Aquarius don't feel like you have to go back and forth don't let nobody make you feel like you gotta go back and forth okay what is this page of swords energy King of Wands. So you don't want to go, you you don't really have, it's like you don't, it's like the ideas that you have, you're not, you're not expressing the ideas. I feel like you don't, you don't give a fuck about whoever this past person you need to separate from. I feel like you don't give a fuck. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, I'm done. I'm done going on your social media. I'm done calling. I'm done texting. I'm done sharing information. That's the that's the type of energy that I get. What is this five of pentacles energy? See, you taking a foolish. I mean, taking a risk, but it's a positive one. Taking a you taking a risk, isolating yourself because, like I said, everything we do come with consequences and when you when you separating yourself or you isolating yourself from an energy that really don't want to do it what is it going to do cause conflict so be prepared for that if it hasn't already happened yet what is this three of wands energy ten of ten of wands that's what this is, Ten of Wands. And so moving forward is hard for you because this is the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is like a struggle. It's like baggage. And you're possibly having a hard time moving forward from this. And like I said, if you all had to deal with what the fuck I had to deal with, it might have been a narcissist. It may not have been. It might have just been an ain't shit nigga or ain't shit biatch bitch. It, it, fuck you too. I don't, I don't even care but um they allow everything else on there so i have the right to express myself so um yeah like whoever whoever this this person is separate from them fully aquarius separate from them you already want to anyway and as soon as you get with the new person just like everybody else you'll be like man why i ain't do this sooner you already know and like i said take a chance you okay with being by yourself anyway so it's not really going to be that much of an issue for you but i feel like you need to just go ahead and let it go or if the situation hasn't presented itself to you when it does deal with it in an intellectual way in a mature way in a non-childish type of way get that information whatever they need to hear and get the fuck out until then leave this um until then leave uh, what was i getting ready to say until then get this video with thumbs up subscribe leave a comment below let me know what you think and aquarius i'll holler at y'all <laughs>